Oh wow, I just got a little bit of Shermanitis. Shermanitis is what happens when you're riding a wheel other than the Sherman, but your body's used to riding at Sherman speeds. Let's wait for this car. Do something extreme while we're waiting. Extreme. All right, here we go. Off-roading already. Hey, how you doing, Duff here? Rolling on the 16X. I know you don't see a lot of this wheel lately, but we are uh, doing a quick Dunkin' Donuts ride. I haven't done a, a Dunkin' Donuts ride in a little while. Going to the, the new one that's closer to us. And I put some air in the tire of the 16X and it's feeling like I put a little bit too much in. Because my 16X, if I get much above like 26 PSI, I start to get a little bit of a speed wobbling sensation. And I put, I think a 29 when I just topped it off here. So I can immediately feel a difference. So I'm gonna cruise here a little bit. And if I continue to feel that sensation, I will pull over and let a little bit of air out. Makes sense, right? It's rideable like this, but I, I just, I prefer my PSI lower on the 16X. Always have. So we're gonna just let just a little bit of air out, but I need a stick or something. Oh, no, my fingernails, my fingernails good enough. Okay, I think I'll be good to go with that. Let's give it another go. So once again, uh, my weekend's gotten away from me. Yesterday, uh, filled with chores. We um, unexpectedly picked up some furniture for Cindy's mom. She was, uh, she just bought a new place and Cindy found a good deal on some furniture on Facebook Marketplace, so we wound up packing the Tacoma with a bunch of rattan furniture. Uh, that took up, uh, we got home early afternoon. And then I decided, because I had already had this on my mental to-do list, and once things are on my mental to-do list, it's very difficult to get them off. I uh, weed whacked the property, then I had to uh, mow the areas that were high. There weren't very many of them because it's, we're in the middle of uh, really, really dry, time period right now. Lots of things are brown and dead, as you can see the uh, the grass around me. And then to wrap things up, I pulled out my electric pressure washer and I was uh, cleaning a couple areas of the metal roof that had some uh, tree gunk on them. And is this person gonna see me? They are. Cleaned off part of the metal roof and then I uh, blew all the oak leaves out of the gutters with the pressure washer. <coughs> So yeah, it was a lot of fun. I got done at about 6 p.m. By 6 p.m. I was done doing my chores for the day. <laughs> so yeah, it's the way it goes with me far too often. Today, I, I knew I, was, I wanted to try to ride and my ideas have shifted. Originally I had the idea, hey, uh, it would be cool if I took the Sherman from the house, ride the, the Sherman all the way to the golf course that uh, I've been riding at lately and ride it all the way back, you know, because the Sherman has a battery pack to be able to do it. Time and motivation kind of slipped away and then my, my goal went to, all right, I'll ride the Sherman to the far Dunkin' Donuts, the 10, mile, 10 miles away Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, I had the Sherman on the charger and again, my, <laughs> my time and motivation uh, slipped. So now we're on the 16X and we're riding to the Dunkin' Donuts that's only three miles from my house. So yeah. yeah, the more I've been thinking about being able to prepare for, oh wow, it's a pry bar. Uh, prepare for uh, doing Marty's tour in October, the more I'm thinking that's a uh, pretty unrealistic goal. I, I don't know. <laughs> my motivation for that as well is slipping away. You know, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just, <laughs> Maybe I'm just old in the mess. That's probably it, I'm just old in the mess. So yeah. So now we're going to the Close Dunkin' Donuts on the 16X. Uh, 
quick and easy. Yeah, I'm telling you, for me, like 26 PSI is just perfect for the 16X. Uh, based on my body weight, my riding weight is probably 195 pounds. It just feels uh, great. When I first got this wheel, it was pumped up like to the mid 30s, and it felt terrible, man. It was squirrely as hell. But like uh, 25, 26, that is the perfect pressure for me on this wheel. Oh wow, I just got a little bit of Shermanitis. Shermanitis is what happens when you're riding a wheel other than the Sherman, but your body's used to riding at Sherman speeds. All of a sudden, sudden tilt back occurs. I just got a little, a little bump on the uh, 16X, bumping me back because I was going too fast. Shermanitis, man, it's a thing. All right, we're here already. As I said, it is not a long journey since this uh, new location opened up. Hi. Uh, just a large hot coffee with cream and sugar. Yeah, it's been a while since you've seen me riding, uh, riding, drinking Dunkin' Donuts at the same time. Somehow my schedule just kind of got changed. It used to be like I would do this on a Saturday morning. I'd go get my Saturday morning coffee while riding. And at some point, Elsa, you know, our dog Elsa, she really likes riding in the back of the truck. So I use that, our routine kind of changed where getting coffee is now part of us running errands on Saturday mornings and Elsa rides along with us. So that's one of the reasons you have not seen me uh, doing as many DD runs as I used to. But it's still good. So another reason I thought it'd be good to ride the 16X is my, uh, my thinking is, if I do wind up <coughs> managing to uh, get my hands on a InMotion V12, uh, that is going to be the time that I sell my Kingsong 16X. I, I will be selling that wheel to make that happen. What are you doing here, person? So I might as well get the mileage on it while I still have it, right? Whoever uh, gets this wheel, uh, it definitely will be... Um, in good shape. I doubt that I have 500 miles in this thing. Almost positive that I don't. Taking a little shortcut here. Heading over to the school briefly. I wanted to uh, just take a load off, talk about something that's been on my mind lately. And, and I know that people just love when I talk about things that, uh, that's on my mind, right? Everybody loves that. Hopefully your sarcasm meter is uh, going off the charts right now, but yeah. Just want to sit down and talk about the state of uh, electric unicycles. Yeah, I really forget just how um, nimble a 16-inch wheel feels compared to uh, you know the bigger diameter wheels. You know the V11, S18, and and the Sherman. I mean they're all maneuverable, but the smaller the diameter, the more so uh, your ability to throw the throw the wheel around easily. Not to mention the thing doesn't weigh 80 pounds either. Uh, back at the beloved school. Hopefully there's no one hanging out here today. Looks pretty quiet. Yeah, I wanted to uh, sit in the dugout. And of course, the only two individuals here <laughs> are sitting in one of the dugouts over there. Of course, that's the way it goes. Oh, wow. the. Uh, the wind is going this way from the uh, sewage treatment plant. Got a uh, nice odor wafting here. All right, so the good news is, is that there is one more uh, baseball field around the back. We will give that one a try. Oh, come on. There's someone there too. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, I can be creative. We'll find somewhere else. Well, I, have an, I have an idea ride over to the um, the new park it's uh, a couple months away from opening up I believe if they're still on schedule I'm sure I can find a nice place to sit there let's go there okay we're on the uh, roadway leading to the new park 
Another beautiful day in Southwest Florida. Okay, this spot will do. Not too bad. Partially assembled bench. So yeah, anyways guys, I just wanna talk about some of the stuff that I've been seeing lately um, in the EUC community. And um, I, just, I just saw uh, this morning there was someone that, whoa, you stupid wind. All right, let's move you closer. Okay, you, you're gonna have to do with a closer view of me. I gotta be ready to catch the camera. Stay, okay. Anyways, just this morning I saw uh, somebody posted, I'm not sure what country he's from, over in Europe somewhere, that he was riding his S18 off-road. And it sounds like it, it uh, beeped and, and dumped him. And he wound up breaking both of his legs. He was fully geared up and, and you know, depending on how you land, uh, gear isn't, gear helps you like if you're have a lot of forward momentum, um, but it doesn't stop uh, leverage from being applied to your joints depending on how you fall. And evidently, uh, this guy fell in an awkward way and uh, broke both of his legs. I guess my, my main point there is I hear a lot of stories about S18s and cutouts, people uh, riding them aggressively, maybe heavier riders, maybe um, uh, riding it aggressively when the wheel is on a lower battery level. Definitely it's not a good idea, guys. It's, it's kind of been established that the S18 uh, is pretty easy to overpower. So if you have an S18, eh, be careful. Be careful. Do, if, if you're doing a lot of high amp uh, accelerations, decelerations, you could be asking for trouble. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I saw uh, almost all of Irwin Black Cobra's live stream regarding his, his, um, his accident, his very serious accident that he had on his Monster Pro. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure a lot of people know at this point, but those of you that don't know, uh, he had just gotten a Monster Pro, and, and uh, he, he filled in some of the details during his live stream. He was riding, I think he said somewhere around 20 miles an hour, and the wheel just abruptly uh, cut out on him. And it wasn't like an overpower situation. It, um, it literally died. Post-mortem on the wheel indicated that the, the board was just dead. Something happened to the board. It's not clear exactly why the board died, but the board died. And the way that Irwin fell, he really, really screwed up his shoulder. He broke it in two spots. They are saying that his um, rehabilitation could be anywhere from four to six months. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really, really bad news. Stay camera, stay. I feel bad for Irwin. And uh, I will include again, the link to the GoFundMe that was started in his behalf to help pay some of his bills. That leads me to my other point is when you, um, when you look at, at uh, some of these accounts of injuries, I, I don't know that there's enough um, awareness about the amount of injuries that people are sustaining on EUCs. I think it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, get the kind of traction that other stuff does, like you know, people going you know, really fast on them or doing you know, crazy jumps. That gets lots of attention, but uh, the amount of injuries on EUCs, I think, is much greater than a lot of people realize. I'm gonna move you even closer, because it's getting really windy now. And that was, that was evidence just in reading the comments on uh, Irwin's video. There, there were so many people, and on the Facebook thread as well, People saying, oh yeah, I, you know, I broke this, I, I, I tore that. I was out of commission for a long, long time. Uh, also accounts of people that, uh, you know, they hurt themselves seriously and they, they quit the hobby altogether, either by their own will or by uh, their family's will. You know, their, their wife, their significant other, whatever. Because I think, I think a lot of times that isn't really thought about. And I'm, I'm guilty of that myself. When I first started riding EUCs, I didn't really give any thought whatsoever to uh, the potential um, danger that I was putting myself in. Um, I used to ride with very minimal gear. I didn't give really any thought to me riding among traffic, or along traffic with a lot of my rides. And Irwin's accident especially, because when he gave details of what's, what his situation now is, is basically it wasn't a work-related accident, um, obviously, and Irwin is a 
a police officer and also uh, serves in the reserves, I believe, for the Air Force. Air Force, I think. It wasn't a work-related accident. So basically now he has to use up whatever um, time he has available to him, you know, vacation time, personal time, sick time. And uh, once that's used up, uh, then it start, he starts reaching into his pocket for living expenses. And uh, the other issue is, is, is there's a possibility, and, and hopefully it's not a strong possibility, but there's a possibility that his employer could say, hey, when are you coming back to work? You know, you, you've, you've, used, you've had all this unpaid leave. We, we need you back at work. And, um, you know, obviously being a police officer, there's a physical aspect to that. So you know, there's a potential that, that all that now is at risk. Uh, due to his injury on the Monster Pro. So that's something that a lot of people don't think about. And, and again, it's human nature that you don't think about worst case scenarios until uh, you find yourself in one. Far easier to, uh, to go about uh, life that way. But I know like in my situation, for example, like if I got seriously hurt riding an EUC, um, I have responsibilities. I got, I, got, I got people that depend on me both at work and at home. If, if, if I um, got injured doing a hobby, I would feel badly about that, obviously. So, I don't know, it's just, uh, I'm not saying, oh yeah, th you know, don't ride EUCs, it's dangerous. Because of course, everything in the world is dangerous to some degree. Getting in your car and driving to work uh, every day is, could be potentially dangerous. Everything is dangerous. Uh, but then you have calculated risk, and uncalculated risk. And if you are exposing yourself willingly to more risk, um, that could have a negative impact on your life, obviously. So everybody has to make their own decisions with what's good for them. And obviously I'm gonna keep riding. I don't have any plans to stop, but it does modify what I think um, is the acceptable um, t tolerance for risk in my, in my viewpoint. And I think uh, Black Cobra situation is a fine example of that, so. This is probably Cindy, probably saying, hey, where are you? Because you're only going to the close Duncan Donut. She's probably worried about my risk. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's just a ring warning. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, obviously Cindy has concerns about uh, me riding. I've been doing it long enough that her concerns are probably a little bit less than they used to be, but uh, she definitely still has concerns, and, and uh, justly so, really. I understand. I understand the concern. So, yeah, that was it. That was all I was saying. I guess, I guess the Cliff Notes version of it is maybe think about the big picture. Think about um, your exposure and worst case scenario, what would happen in your life if something uh, serious happened uh, based on what you're doing on an EUC. You know, it's worth thinking about. All right, let's continue. And I could definitely tell from watching that video that uh, Black Cobra was, it was and is still shook up and, and seriously affected uh, by uh, the incident and the results of it. And uh, that's, I, I mean, that's, that's normal. I mean, that's, it's like a PTSD event, basically. You know, that's gonna have some lasting effects on him. Um, and I just hope it all works out for the best. And yeah, of course, it's, it's, it's cool to say, hey, I mean, I, I laugh in the face of danger. I, I, uh, you know, I, I don't care about the potential risk that I'm putting myself in. And, and it, depending on your life situation, it, it may be inconsequential if you got seriously hurt. That's great, I guess. But if, if that is not the case, then uh, you might, uh, might want to think about things a little bit deeper. That's all I'm saying. And my over-under is about eh, maybe 15 minutes until the first comment comes in that says, ah, oh, Duff, yeah, you're talking about, you know, safety and risk and all this kind of stuff, and you're wearing a skater helmet. <laughs> Touche. I am. But this was a very short ride, uh, mostly on uh, sidewalk. A little bit of bike lane, so it was a calculated risk. It was an acceptable risk, in my opinion. But everybody has to make that own decision for themselves, right? Dude, the 16X is just so good to carve on. It's, it's really, it just feels so good with the, with the wide tire, small diameter. I'm only hoping the V12 is uh, similar in that regard, only better. Stronger motor, more goodies, bigger battery, and a color LCD screen. Hey, I've been selling a few of those Exo Armor sets for the Sherman. 
those of you that don't know, I, I, I put the, um, the file out there in Thingiverse, so if you have a 3D printer, you can just make yourself a set, but I guess, you know, some people don't have 3D printers. They've been contacting me, and I've been making uh, both the, the hard and the, um, the flexible set. You know, not only do they give you some crash protection, but also, um, you know, for your roll cage, but also give you a little bit of a color accent, too, if that's your thing. So you know, I made them in red, black, green, orange, uh, I'm trying to think what other colors. I think, oh, and blue. I've done a blue set as well. So, yeah, check it out on the store, eucarmy.com. All right, we are done. Okay, guys, quick little ride. Hope you enjoyed it. If this is your uh, first time visiting the channel, please think about subscribing. And if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, oh, you can give it a thumbs down, I guess, if, if you didn't. But if you didn't, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to leave your other comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts down below. I try to respond to as many as possible. Um, what's your thought about um, the potential for injury on EUCs? Is this something that you even give a second thought to about? Or uh, do you just don't care, don't think about it? I'm curious what other people's thoughts are about it. And uh, yeah, I want to give a big thanks to the members of my channel. You can join my channel for membership. There's a number of perks. You can hit the join button down below to see what those perks are. Um, right here they are. And um, right here the, the members are, and they are awesome. I love them. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to have for now, guys. I think I'll wash, wash the Tesla. It's dirty. So hope you guys had a great weekend. That's all I have for now. And if you're looking for a 16X down the road, maybe a couple months maybe, this might be the one for you. Catch you later. Duffman out.